Hello, today I'm going to show you how to run a partial stroke test in ValveLink with your DVC 6200 SIS unit. I will show you how to adjust your test settings, how to run the test, and then how to analyze your data afterwards. To begin, open ValveLink and have your instrument tag available. Open the tag and then click here on the ABC button. This opens the detailed setup section. You can edit a lot of options here, but we are going to focus on the SIS slash partial stroke tab. Click it, and here you can see your partial stroke test options. You can adjust these as needed. I'm going to change the maximum travel movement from 10 to 15. Clicking the left arrow transfers the value from the valve link database into the instrument. Now this window will pop up. If you just performed the partial stroke test calibration, you click No. If you still need to run that calibration, click Yes. I'm going to click No and proceed to the partial stroke test. However, if you want to learn more about the partial stroke calibration, click here to watch a video covering it. Now we're going to run the partial stroke test. Go up here and click this partial stroke test icon. This button pulls up the SIS diagnostics with this window. Make sure you have a new data set selected and then click Run Diagnostic. This will move the valve and perform the partial stroke test. If you see this window, it means the instrument currently has diagnostic data in its memory, such as a previously performed partial stroke test or a triggered event that you can upload. You can upload and save it or just discard that data. Now the test will run. Once the partial stroke test is complete, a window like this will show up. This indicated that the test was completed successfully. It also tells how the partial stroke test was initiated, the last demand stroke time, and when that last demand occurred. Now we can analyze the data. Click the graph tab to see the information in the graph form. You can look at it in pressure versus travel, pressure versus time, travel versus time, and travel percentage versus time. Now if you want to compare your new data to your old data, click Add Overlays. This provides a useful visual description of how the valve may be degrading over time so that you can act proactively with your valve maintenance. Go to Dataset and choose a dataset to compare your da new data to. Click Select and now click View Overlay. Now you can see the overlay in the different graphs. You can also see the input information from the test as well as the configuration. If you want a less graphical representation, click the data points for raw data. That may be exported into a program such as Microsoft Excel for further analysis. You can also add notes to this data set. You can also check the valve, trim, accessories, and actuator properties. Once you are done analyzing your data, you can click Save Data Set here to keep the data for later. Now we have successfully edited the test properties, run the test, and use tools to analyze the data in ValveLink.